kidding me right now? That's a freaking rhino. What do we got? Body venomous. It's 4 a.m. and we're heading on an African adventure. Alright guys, so we finally made it. We are entering into Shislui. Of course, you can see a bunch of baboons right beside us here. Uh, who knows what we're going to see. Hopefully a bunch of really big animals. Elephants, rhinos, hippos maybe. I don't know. But this is really the true Africa. So I am so excited to see what we're going to be able to find. So when it comes to national parks like this, you can't really get out and walk with the animals. So it's not like we're going to be able to get out and get up close with things because obviously you would potentially die if that happened. So it's just really kind of a drive through the park. This is a huge reserve. I mean, there's, you know, tons and tons of land and you just don't really know what you're going to come after. But hopefully we're going to see some animals and we'll be able to film them. But again, we're not going to be able to get out. But don't worry, we'll have plenty of up and close encounters as time goes on through this trip. Take a look at guys, we have some zebra here. How freaking awesome, that's the first real sighting here. Man, it is so cool, this park is beautiful. And uh, I cannot believe that we have zebras. Oh my gosh. I love days like today, this is absolutely amazing. Hey guys. Right through the bushes over here is a Cape Buffalo. Now the Cape Buffalo is actually part of the big five animals here in South Africa. And believe it or not, although they look a lot like our American Buffalo in a way, these guys are definitely a lot more territorial. And I believe that they're actually responsible for the second most deaths when it comes to humans. These guys will absolutely defend their territory. And he's definitely checking me out right now. Oh my gosh, that is such an awesome animal. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? It was a freaking rhino. Oh my gosh. We got so lucky. They came right out in front of the car and now they're just sitting there checking us out. Oh my gosh. How freaking epic is that? Holy cow. He's just staring at me right now. This is freaking amazing. I mean, I love rhino. Oh my gosh, my heart's beating so fast right now. I'm so happy. Taking a really quick lunch break. I tell you what, you know, when you come to these types of reserves, you're basically, oh, it's almost like hunting for snakes, right? You're looking, you're looking, you may find stuff, you may not find stuff, but I gotta tell you, that rhino encounter is probably unbelievably rare to have them come that close. I mean, it's like a one in a million shot that that happens, so I couldn't be more excited. We've seen some giraffe off in the distance, but they were too far away to really film, so that was really epic. We're gonna still make a couple more trips around. It's about a three hour loop to get all the way around. We've done about half of it so far. So we're definitely gonna continue to look. We're hoping we can find some elephants. Maybe we'll get lucky in lions. I mean, who knows what else is out there, but that's just how this is. And I'll be honest with you, it's all about the experience. If we didn't find one more thing this rest of this day, it was so beautiful. I mean, look at this incredible place. I'm having the time of my life, but that rhino thing, just, I'm over the moon about it. There's a whole family of warthogs over here, little babies and everything. They're so cute. <laughs> How awesome is that? I tell you what, we were hoping we were going to eventually run into some Ellie's. And sure enough, look at this big buddy here. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. We were literally ready to give up and think, oh, we're not gonna catch one. We turn around the corner and there he is. Oh my gosh. That is like a dream come true. I love Ellie's. That thing is so amazing. All right, guys. This day couldn't get much better. Oh my gosh. We're just outside the park checking out this river and look what Forrest caught. Is this thing cool? What the heck? This is a flat neck chameleon. That's, that's been one of our big goals on the trip is, is to find a wild chameleon. And we're here on the river checking out some prime crocodile habitat. We turn around in this tree and 
unbelievable. Thing looks so healthy. I know, look at that, is that crazy? I mean, that's our first chameleon here. Again, that was a big thing for Forrest. He's like, we gotta catch some chameleons. We're still gonna go out tonight and try to find some, what, dwarf chameleons, right? Yeah, like Cape Dwarf chameleons. Yeah, so. but this is an awesome find. That guy's a beauty, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So first we found the chameleon. This is all within 10 feet of each other. Then I was using the bathroom and looking up at the tree and I seen a baby tree snake that was green, not sure what it was. Um, it got away from us. Then I come over here and I peel back some bark and there's a little agamid. <laughs> and uh, now it's gone. <laughs> Those things are quick, especially in this heat. What do we got? Bobby Venomous, it's all green. Look at that. That's what you had for us right there. Yeah. Okay guys, so this is the spotted bush snake that uh, Forrest ended up finding over there. Uh, but it was much smaller and it bit him. And we weren't really sure if it was venomous or not. Uh, I guess they're very mildly venomous, but nothing to be really concerned with. What an absolutely gorgeous snake. Look at that thing here, Forrest. Now he can have a proper handling with one. <laughs> oh, look at that? the color. Isn't that cool? Yeah, these are amazing. It's just awesome to be out here in Africa catching wild snakes. I mean, this is like freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. That thing is cool, isn't it? It's unreal. Oh my Unbelievable God. day. Never a dull day in Africa. <laughs> Forrest, let's go ahead and let this little buddy go. All right. All right. Reluctantly. Reluctantly. <laughs> there you go, bud. Go away. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. He just glides through the tree. Look at him. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful snake. There you go, buddy. You're good. Oh. <laughs> you guys, I love letting snakes go as much as we love catching them. What a beauty that guy is. Look at him. Ah, man. We got some velvet geckos. So oh we've got lizards, we've got snakes. This is just all in one area. Oh my gosh. You know, and as much as it's cool to like keep reptiles, visit people with reptiles, it is just off the freaking hook to catch them in the wild. Take a look at this little guy here. He's a feisty little monkey. Oh, he's a feisty little monkey. Holy cow. These guys are so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there you go, bud. <laughs> Bye. Off he goes. You know, being out in the African bush, the one thing that you really realize is how much life is teeming around. We're seeing rodents, we see birds, we see butterflies and moths, we see snakes, we see lizards, there's crocodiles. I mean, there's just so much life all around us, spider webs all over the place. This place is just teeming with life and it's just so amazing. I mean, I just don't know if there's another place like it besides South America. This place is just absolutely incredible. I love it and I just hate to even leave, to be honest with you, because being out here, you just don't no, I mean, three feet away from you could be the next cool thing that you see. Oh my God, this place is awesome. And guys, take a look. Our luck keeps going. A wild leopard tortoise. I mean, is that crazy? This is actually just running down the road. I'm gonna put it off to the side and we're gonna keep on going. See you later, buddy. Okay guys, so here's the deal. We actually are at a place where there's crocodiles, hippos, and bull sharks, but it was closed. So my mates here, decided to bribe someone to get in, and Forrest in the back there was the main offender. So we, we are actually in a restricted area right now, but uh, hey, it's amazing what a couple bucks can do in Africa. Hopefully we'll see some Nile crocodiles, maybe some hippo, and you know, maybe even some sharks. You know, hey, whatever, it's still a cool experience, whatever happens. I mean, just take a look at this. I mean, how incredible to end the day like this. You've got amazing scenery, the sun is setting in the background. We've caught so many animals, we've seen so many different things. Even if we don't see any crocodiles or hippos or anything else, it doesn't matter because it's been an incredible day. Well, what a way to end. Take a look, at guys. See this trail right here that goes all the way here and here, around here? That was a crocodile trail, so we are definitely in the right area. Guarantee you, crocodile. But it's getting late in the night. You can see the sun is starting to set. I don't know that we're gonna see any tonight. Definitely keeping my eye out for any that are hiding down in the brush here, but oh my gosh, how awesome to be literally right by where now crocodiles are. Oh, I wish we could see one, but even if we don't, I mean, take a look at this, guys. This is the way I'm ending my day. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Well, guys, we're here, and I think that we're gonna strike out on Nile crocodiles tonight, but what an amazing night. Of course, we have a couple days before we hopefully find your major crocodile. I know we missed it today. What do you think? 
Well, I mean, there's definitely not been any letdowns. I mean, we might not have seen a huge Nile crocodile today, but uh, the night's not over. I mean, a Nile crocodile might yeah. find us where we're at. That's true. Um, we're st literally standing in an area where they are constantly moving and sunning. So it's a great place to be at night. Yeah, this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this giant, you know, island hillside thing over here. There's beach all around us. There's whales out there. There's bull sharks in here. There's hippos. We've seen a hippo come up a few times. So this is a great way to kind of end this part of the journey and then get back to the search for the giant croc. Giant croc is coming up. Let's hope it works out. And with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed this African adventure as much as we did because it was absolutely incredible. Do me a favor and be kind to someone today. And I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.